everybody. Welcome to my very first stereotypical gear loadout video. Uh, what you're looking at is a pretty common setup for what I would do in the Appalachians in the summertime. I'm going to quickly run through these items and then we'll, uh, that'll be it. First off, what I'm going to wear, uh, probably go with a little Columbia Silver Ridge light short sleeve shirt. That's an OR runner's baseball cap, darn tough socks, uh, Patagonia baggy shorts, some ex officio boxer briefs, and dirty girl gaiters with La Sportiva Wildcats. Um, kind of go back and forth with the ultras, but that's ended up being the main thing I like to wear. Uh, I just like them a little better than the ultras. Uh, next, we'll move on over here. Uh, I put together a kind of DIY homemade Costco quilt. Uh, sewed in the foot box on the end. And uh, that's pretty good down to around 50 degrees. Sometimes I have to put on some extra layers. More of the sleeve system up here. That's a Sea to Summit Aeros pillow. A little Cuban fiber bag. I put the pillow and the quilt in. I also have a Thermarest Neo Air. That's a size large that I trimmed down just a little bit um, in the length and uh, ironed it back together so it uh, fits me pretty well shaves off about an ounce or so moving on over to the pack uh, i've kind of done lots of experimenting with packs through the years and have ended up really liking the ula cdt it's got a roll top at the top uh, plastic um, trash compactor liner to keep things dry and then a um, cuban fiber pack cover from dutch wear gear in order to uh, try and keep everything dry. Uh, second shelter system right here, that's a Z-Pax uh, duplex. It's the 0.74 ounce DCF, so the little thicker uh, material. It's about one and a half pounds with stakes and cordage and everything. Uh, for rain gear, I use the um, Frog Togs jacket tried a bunch of different things this one's ugly it's not very attractive but it's only about five and a half ounces it's great uh little z packs cuban fiber rain skirt uh works well i, I usually don't take it down the stuff for uh stuff on the bottom for the summertime uh, my favorite thing of course uh for rain is the um chrome dome umbrella uh that's just kind of an off-brand one that i got off amazon uh, sit pad right there, thermo rest, uh, little mini seat. It's yellow on one side and silver on the other. I've got some DIY camp sandals that I uh, built out of um, a foam pad that you would maybe put on the floor of a weight room or like a kid's playroom. Use those around camp. They weigh about four ounces for the pair. Uh, extra pair of darn tufts for hiking right there. This is the extra pair of darn tufts for sleep socks. Got a real small microfiber camp towel. It's maybe, you know, foot and a half by foot and a half. Um, works pretty well for the summertime. Um, wool buff right there uh, for if it does get chilly, then I've got a hat or um, something I can put on in the evenings. Underneath that, we've got a, uh, this is um, the Royal Robins Marina Lux t-shirt. I really like those a lot. Um, Patagonia uh houdini wind shirt uh, i've got some smart wool leggings that i can wear at night and uh, this is the appalachian gear company alpaca hoodie uh, it's ended up being a great product i've only had it for um about half a year but um man really light versatile product I usually don't carry a puffy in the appalachian mountains in the summertime i definitely will do that for winter hiking uh, food bag, got a Z-Pax food bag and then an OPSAC um, plastic Ziploc that goes inside of it for about a three ounce um, food storage system. Uh, these are Lecky Legacy Light Cortec trekking poles, I think. Uh, just purchased recently. I've taken them on a couple trips. They work pretty well. I used to have the Micro Vario ones and these are a little lighter. They're about 17 ounces. They're not super lightweight but they really get the job done lucky trekking poles are just incredibly good okay so uh kitchen stuff got a sawyer uh filter right here 
Um, got to not get out of my tent in the middle of the night and go to the bathroom bottle right here. Uh, I am in my 50s, which means I will get up to uh, use the restroom at night. Anyway, that helps me. Uh, this is just a small plastic bottle. It's a pretty good size for a um, packet of uh, Carnation Instant Breakfast and coffee for the morning drink. Uh, I take a couple of smart water bottles. I have one that is uh, for dirty water and another one that I use for clean water. This uh, Reflectix on the outside only adds about a half ounce to the bottle, and uh, I use that more in the winter, but it's nice in the summer too to keep your water cold. Um, 700 milliliter Evernew pasta pot built for a little Reflectix on the outside so I can rehydrate food inside there. Um, Bic lighter. Small little chamois cloth, uh, Soto Amica stove, just works pretty well. Obviously, I take the small 110 uh, gram fuel canister. Uh, in here, I don't necessarily need the charging plug if I'm only on like a week trip. That's a 10,000 milliamp battery. It's an anchor. Uh, and then I've got cables for iPhone and, and recharging um, USB stuff. Um, Nightcore, uh, I think that's NU25. And uh, super lightweight. I pilfered the head strap off of another headlamp, so it's a little bit lighter. A uh, little DCF wallet, some reading glasses. This is my uh, medicine bag. It's got some dental floss, ibuprofen, some repair tape, uh, some body glide, stuff like that, too. Uh, toothbrush, um, sunscreen, toothpaste, eye drops, Swiss Army knife, chapstick. I do carry a Garmin InReach Mini. Uh, I've started doing that more recently. It's just nice to be able to get a weather forecast. And if I'm way out in the woods, then I got a little emergency uh, beacon help. Some bug spray, too. Uh, I do like the um, Picardin, I think is how it's pronounced, or Picardin. Either way, uh, I like that a little better than DEET. Uh, do the Sea to Summit Long Spoon. I've got about 50 feet of Reflectix cord. And the bag that that anchor power cord came in is great. It's super light. I can stick a rock in there and throw that over the tree. At night, I use the uh, beaner off of the uh, GPS, clip it into this little part for the rope, and then use that to throw over the tree and connect and hang the food bag. Uh, last thing, I've got this uh, through pack Summit Bum pack. Uh, I can either wear it around my waist and uh, have ready access to stuff, or I can put it on my chest strap on my pack. But it's really good to store a bunch of this small stuff that I want quick access to uh, in that pack, and then it's easy to grab. So, all right, uh, that's it, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment in the comment section, and uh, don't forget to like the video. Hopefully I'll start making some more content soon. Uh, I've got a big announcement coming up about spring 2021 and we'll really start rolling out the channel. Have a good one.